Right now, I'm in Japan, you guys, and today I will be pretending to go lost in the world's biggest city. This is a crazy prank. Now, as you guys know, Japan is humongous, and going lost could be really, really scary. I'm really wondering how my friends are gonna react. I hope they are actually worried about me, and they're not like, eh, whatever, we can just leave her in Japan. Let's go back to America. If one thing goes wrong, the whole plan could go to ooh. Let's hope this works. Please like the video before we get started, because this is gonna be a crazy one. You guys, I'm on the plane. Jensen, say hi. Hello. So we got these little travel packs that they gave us that had everything from lip balm to socks to earplugs. It was crazy. Then they gave us these crackers. They were pretty mid, but the beef they gave us was very good. I was a fan. Then I got really sleepy, so I slept for a little bit. Then I touched up my makeup because it was time to land. The flight was literally 13 hours, so I was so excited to land, and we are officially in Tokyo. Bathrooms had a thing you could put your baby on while you go to the bathroom. We got some peach juice from this amazing vending machine. And then we went on the train. And you have to be really quiet because everyone is so quiet in here in Japan for some reason. I don't know why. Guys, we're in Japan. Oh my God. I am so happy. We went to our very first Starbucks in Japan. It was insane. I wish the Starbuckses in America were like this, trust me. My ramen just came. It looks absolutely extraordinary. I will let you know how it is because it looks absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. I just finished my ramen. It was so good. Like, I mean, you can just tell, like, right now, like, this just looks so incredible. Like, look at that. Guys, we're in a little Japanese convenience store right now. Look, look at all the makeup. This, this is so cute. It's like, I love the packaging. Little update about tonight. Um, we, how, where do we even start? Wrong hotel, but I thought it was the same hotel as So now we have to was go. was not the same hotel, but it was matter. the same half of the name was the same but the rest of it so we get to the hotel that you know we thought we booked like with them and stuff it's a different hotel and they're like you're not staying here and we <laughs> and couldn't cancel it because it can't get a refund so now we have to go all the way across tokyo i know i look absolutely insane right now i just took my head out of my ponytail because my head was hurting but i thought i'd do a little tour of the hotel room this is it this is it, there's no more to it. We have a little bathroom right there. Tiny little entry right, this is it. And this is apparently a suite. <laughs> Make sure to stay tuned to the end, you guys, because as you know, I'm breaking my friends that I got lost in Japan. Good morning, it is day two of Japan right now. We are gathering all our stuff because we're checking out of our little itty bitty room. Here's my OOTD, this top with the person's face on it, some baggy pants and some sneakers because we got to be comfortable. Then we got into our Uber, and I love the Ubers because they all have these like fresh white linen covers that they don't have in America. Then we saw some really cool views. I mean, the views here are just unbeatable in Japan, everything about it. Guys, they sell these cute little strawberry mocha things. The ice cream selection in Japan is top notch. I think America could definitely take some lessons. And this is what we call idol juice because it's just like jelly, but it fills you up like a meal. And here's me drinking my strawberry mocha. It was pretty fantastic. I wish they had this as an actual drink. Now we're in a Pokemon store. It is so cute. I love the Pokemon store. I don't really play it, but I know Jensen really loves it, so that makes me happy. They had a lot of really cute stuffed animals, and here's Jensen playing this game. And we found a little subscriber. He was actually so cute. And then I got the Chef Pokemon thing. And a Kuromi, of course. Update, we're going to the Starbucks Reserve. That is what's up, so we will see when we're there because the Starbucks is here are actually insane. They're so good. They have melon frappuccinos. Like, that's crazy to me, so I guess that's what's happening right now. I don't really know for sure, but I'll keep you updated. We are on a hunt for a restaurant because there are seven of us and it is hard to sit seven people, especially in Japan. Here's Jensen complaining that he's sleepy and I'm like, Jensen, you can't be sleepy in Japan, no. Eliana never feeds me. After a very long time, we all finally found a restaurant that we could sit at. There is a restaurant. Look at this amazing menu. Finally found a restaurant. It was actually pretty good, but all I got were tomatoes because, you know, that's all I need. It came with some mayo and salt. And look, pig heart. We're going to the Starbucks Reserve. I am pumped for this. We had a great meal. I had some amazing tomatoes, but I am ready for some Starbucks. And our train's here! train where it is so incredibly silent. Oh my gosh. I was a little bit confused. Just a 
a tad bit, but we're gonna figure it out. Street level, we got this. We we're here, we I'm already made it this confused. far. I'm always confused, I already got lost at one point and I just went, oh. Where do I go? We made it to the famous Japan Crossing. Now, this is what you think Japan looks like. It was really beautiful though. We walked over to the mega store. I saw some really, really cute makeup that I was so tempted to get, although I couldn't fit it back in my suitcase, which was so unfortunate. I was bummed about that, but look like Sanrio makeup as well. Oh my goodness, I love it. Also have like 10 trillion flavored Kit Kats. They all were pretty good though, I will say, but I was just surprised. I got a basket full of Kuromi stuff, because if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Kuromi. I decided to rate my boba and it was a it's a Jensen out of 10. That's delicious. But the boba? That means it's extra scrumptious, extra delicious, extra yummy, extra in my tummy. Now we are at the Starbucks Reserve. I am so excited. Can we just appreciate these pastries, please? Guys, I got this beautiful Sakura parfait drink thing. I also got a Sakura uh, macchiato. The parfait was a 10 out of 10 and the macchiato was a 10 out of 10. Did you guys know that there are only six Starbucks reserves in the world? If you guys are a Snapchat OG, then you know I used to do daily orange juice and they got rid of it where I used to go, but we have found one in Japan. Luke is getting himself one. Well, you're getting one too. What? I'm getting, we're getting two. One for me, one so, for you. So kind. Look y'all, it's getting squeezed. Is it ready? Oh my God. Oh my, it's ready. Guys, I got my orange juice. It is actually so good. Daily orange juice, Japan edition. Except I haven't done it for six months because they got rid of the machine. And now she has. Hashtag feed me orange. Hashtag sponsor me, feed me orange, please. I love your orange juice. I am Eliana's number one dove. If anyone chooses to say Jane, otherwise, Jane you are from simply the Eliana incorrect. show. Guys, everyone go follow Jane. She's, okay. she's on the Eliana Wamsley show. I look am. her up on IMDb, guys. Thank guys, you. look, tea, tea eggs. These are eggs soaked in tea. I want to like squish it. They are Jesus tasty. are tasty, Very but good. I don't know about that. I'm side eyeing these tea eggs right now. You guys, so we're all frantic to try to catch our train right now. There's my group, so I'm gonna go this way. Look, we're all leaving right there. I'm gonna go this way and sneak off. I think it's officially time. I'm going the opposite way, but now that they're all over there, I think it's time to sneak back down. And I'm gonna go right back down the escalator. Yikes, this is not good. Okay, we're leaving. We're going, we're going back down the escalator. Okay. We're going back down the escalator. They're all, nobody's following me. Yikes. Okay, I think it's time that we get this party started. I am by myself. This might be a bad decision. I've been filming this right now because I just talked to Yolanda and we don't know where Eliana is. She's not, she's not on this train. We, we asked all of our friends that are with us and yeah, I don't, I really don't know, I don't understand what's going on. I don't know where we are, like, it's like, everything's yeah. going so fast, and like, I don't, she was, she was right behind us. Yeah, I, like, I know. Like, I turned around, like, I mean, weren't you with her? I, I was with her, I thought she was right behind me. You should call her. Okay. It's like, my hand is like, shaking right now, I don't even know what to do. Like, she right. can't like, read these signs or anything. Like, this is not like her, like, she knows, like, she was like, freaked out to begin with. I don't know what to do. Hey, you guys, I don't know where I'm going. Crap. Yikes, I don't even I don't even know where I'm at. I'm in like a staff only corner. Crap, this probably means that they know. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is actually not good. Like I don't know what good place to go. They're calling me now. They're probably gonna be so worried, but you might have to stick with the plan and the prank. That's very important, but I don't even know where to go at this point. Oh my god, this is like how many people there are. Jens is calling right now. This is not good. I knew this wouldn't be good. This is like the most like remote area, but I think I'll still have to, he's calling. I'll have to probably even find a better place. I'm starting to rethink this whole thing. Like I can just imagine them right now being so scared and, and sad and being like, where's Eliana? But we must continue on with our plan. It is important. So I say we go. Jensen, so many missed calls. I'm sorry, Jensen and mom. But this show, it's just getting started. So I think I'm gonna take a little shortcut back to the Hokkaido train station because look, it's like a train station, I don't know if you can see, right here. So, you know, just a good little pit stop at the beach, why not? I ended up going to the beach because what better place to be lost? They'll never find me here. 
the beach was so incredibly beautiful. It was a little chilly though, I do have to say. I didn't go in the water and I didn't swim, but you know, maybe next time. I hope they're not too worried. Ah, uh, let's check in on them right now and see how they actually are doing. Doesn't look like they're doing too good. I should probably get back to them very soon. Like, like right now. Like, like right now. Let's let's go. Okay, we are going. Oh, I almost broke the table. We are going right now. I'm at the train station right now. Look how like beautiful it is. Like this is such a stunning little train station. I love it. But I hope the train comes soon because I need to get back to them. guys I made it to the train station and right now I'm looking for obviously my family and Jitsum and my friends because they are probably super worried right now like I can only imagine how bad it actually hi what? hi are you serious what do you mean hi do you know what we've been through why are you laughing you're just laughing We've been what? Gone all day. Do you really think this is funny? We're in a different country. Where have you been? We're just been hanging out. Jane's like, not even here right now. She's like running around trying to like. I don't. I don't know. Day. I don't know why you guys are getting so angry for no reason. We're worried for you all day. I am obviously very thankful that you are safe. Yeah. See, I'm but, okay. Okay. I know. I know. But Ellie, you have no idea like how worried we were about you. Like this is like we're in a totally foreign country. Like look at the signs. They're all in Japanese. Like. We're frantic, and it's just like it. We were looking for you all day, Ellie. Like, I was chilling, chilling like a like, villain. Yes, understand from our perspective, like. Yeah, why don't you chill like a villain with like the people that you came on this vacation with? Like, I mean, you, you gotta learn. I just wanted to do this. We did this once before in New York, you know. So yeah, how I would know. you just agree to not do this ever again? Like Jensen said, it's like wasted like half of our day. Look, like, I understand that this is for like a video and for content, which is great, but it's like, we don't know that when you're missing. I think everyone's mad at me, guys. Uh, give me some time to talk to them and make them not mad at me because I actually feel really bad that like everyone like was trying to help me. I didn't really know what that was going on. So give me some time and then I will get back to the vlog, okay? Wish me luck. Bye. I might be grounded for life. We are here at the Tokyo Tower. It is so tall, but also so beautiful. Guys, look at this. It's like alive. Isn't that like absolutely phantasmastic? It's it's fish and octopus and mayo. So I'm not a picky person at all, but I tried it and I was not a fan of this at all. I'm sorry. Weird food thing. You looked cool. Here's Luke hijacking my channel. How dare he? Then we went up to the very, very top. Again, the views were actually insane up here. And look, there was a little robot and it was dancing for us. It's just crazy how everything's so like in the future here. Like Japan really is living in 2050 for real. Walking on this was low key kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that it was just gonna drop and I would fall to my, you know, never mind. We made it to the Tokyo Team Lab Planets. This place was crazy. Like I'm literally walking up a water hill right now. And I just don't even wanna know how many people's feet have been in here cause I had to be barefoot the whole time. And that kind of was stressing me out. Cause I was like, am I gonna get foot fungus from this? But it was really beautiful. I don't know what this is. It looked like milk. And look how crazy this looks. Beautiful. I love this place so much. If you're in Japan, I recommend it. That place was amazing. I can't get over it. This was such like a cool thing to experience. Thank you, Jade. Appreciate you. Of course. You got us tickets. If you're ever in Tokyo, come here. Not sponsored team place. It was so cool. Guys, right now we're at a cafe. Look at how cute. There's so many awesome. So, I'm not the biggest cat person ever, but I do have to say they were adorable. And look, Jensen wanted to get this cat so bad. We named it Smudge because its face was like smushed in. Look, this cat was going crazy over the laser. And has everything you need, just like fish stick vending machines. So incredibly helpful, right? So this was built in the 1600s, which was insane to me that people actually like built this that long ago. It was so beautiful to experience and I truly felt like I was in Japan and just learning about the culture and everything was so magical. It truly was. Guys, I'm getting my hair done right now. I'm doing a cute little ponytail thing, but I have this lovely lady doing my hair. She's so cute. We'll see how it turns out. 
Guys, look at my toesies. I can spread them so wide. This is amazing. Look how beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Guys, look how beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love it. Let me like show the back. I don't know if you can see. I love it so much. They did such an amazing job. So this is the final look that it came out with. It's so beautiful. I feel so great right now. I feel like I'm really fitting into the culture. And look at my hair. I love this. I literally want to stay in this outfit forever. Unfortunately, it was time to take it off and get back into my boring normal clothes, which I was really sad about. This was so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go check out my short that I did of it as well, too. I have to say, this was probably one of my favorite trips that I have ever been on. Japan is just truly extraordinary. I'm also sorry to my friends and family for pranking you guys, but I do have to say, I think the prank went pretty well, and it was kind of funny if I'm being honest, but... Do yourself a favor and book a trip to Japan if you're ever thinking about it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!